37 years of experience in our riders. Carlos 35, and Valle is just uh, 22. Already requested a move to the factory team, and Petronas Yamaha SRT management will not stand in his way. It's just now Yamaha and VR46 management getting that deal sorted out. And but uh, yeah, we, we cannot say nothing at this point. No, 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 I wasn't expecting you to. Thank you for your time. New Zealand back, yeah. It's a, a peculiar scenario, isn't it, that we are into August. Tends to create a significant headache for the Malaysian back team. They could probably have coped with seeking one rider, but unexpectedly having to find two. Not only this, they have an excellent next two or three races, well, their names will, of course, still be on that list. The, the whole point of having a Moto2 team for Petronas SRT is that, that they eventually bring those guys, nurse those guys, to be ready to move into MotoGP. This is really positive. I spent a bit of time with him, and he surprised me in that intelligent, more observant, more caring guy than he lets on. As a standout come and get me candidate. No, you just you just never know, do you, what might happen. I mean, oh, a bit of a moment there for Savador. But what happens if someone like, for example, Matt? Uh, they're working with him, and if I was them, it's like, like, give the kid a chance on the next step up, and then the next step up again. That's my thoughts. Thank you. Right, mate. He's not scared to have that motorcycle moving around sliding underneath him in these mixed conditions. Pekka Bagnaia goes up into... I think a lot of people were hoping to see top rack Graz Gatti Oglu maybe make the leap over, but of course he has made his future. Um, fine. I guess you could now say it's mixed conditions half and half, and that's where Yamaha traditionally struggles, and at the moment, Valentino is on a, a lap here that could put him up into the top six. It's Nakagami out of the seat, on the gas, with a bit of lean angle out of that turn 10. And he had that rear tyre spin of the World Championship right now. Here's Salvador, his teammate, Alessio Spargo, about to take the chequered flag. And over the line, Alessio Spargo will come, and he slots his premier himself, about to come across the line. He's already in third. Will he improve? He doesn't much time to find to take top spot. Just six hundredths down. Mark Marquez on a late charge as well. Across the line for Zarco. He goes second, 31-4 for now then. Improve his time, but not position. Mark Marquez, something happened there on the final sector because he's not going to do it either. And that means that Lorenzo Salvadori will indeed top this afternoon's F. Just saw in the background there Antonio Jimenez as well. They have worked wonders, haven't they? Aprilia and the factory in Nuala to, to get from wet weather rider he is. Just uh, tapping the world champion there on the shoulder. Is he as good in the practice start as long as he was for the rest of the lap? Yeah, not bad at all. Sector he might be threatening Lorenzo Sabadori's excellent position at the top. But his high fives, handshakes and pats all round for the Italian.